see some real surfing.
This is a typical surfer. He's either ditching school or he's graduated and now he waits tables in a local restaurant at night so he can surf during the day. He drives a slightly rusted car and usually parks on a hill in case he needs to push start. He has a flashy new surfboard which costs about 300 bucks and will last him about six months to a year. His wetsuit, which he bought on sale for $135, has only a few small holes and, with any luck, it'll last through another winter. This is Kevin forgetting his wax. He's the third surfer today to forget his wax on this post. And, like the two bars before, this bar of Mr. Zog's sex wax melts. But after it melts, something very weird happens. It unmelts. This strange orange creature that hatched out of a bar of Mr. Zog's sex wax is now known as Hot Doggy. He looks a little different than the average run-of-the-mill surfer on a typical California day, but when the surf gets good, a transformation takes place. From a quiet, mild-mannered waiter, Hot Doggy turns into a ripping, slashing, tearing surf machine. <laughs> Once upon a time, this classic right point was known as the queen of the coast. Surfers from all corners of the globe would travel to this perfect wave to test their skills and their equipment. That was then. Now, Rincon has become a full-fledged battleground.